All right, guys, so uh, this is the first episode of uh, a podcast we're going to do. We don't really have a name for it right now. We're kind of just going for PB&J, uh, Pavel and Jamel. We'll kind of figure it out. So um, what this is is we're just trying to improve ourselves and kind of put something out on the Internet for, like, you know, other people to see, other people to listen to, and kind of just spread some, you know, dope information. So uh, today we're just kind of going to give you an idea of what the show is going to be like and, uh, you know, who we are and what we hope to what we hope to get done. So uh, my name is Pavel Kalva. Uh, Jamal, been uh, been best friends for like fucking eighteen years now, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So um, so here, let's get started. Um, we're just gonna do like a few interview questions. So uh, J- Jamal, where do you work? Okay, I work at a. Uh, it's essentially a uh, architecture firm. I design uh, wall systems, so I'm on the computer a lot and. Uh, Working with a software called AutoCAD, which is essentially just a design-based sandbox. We can create anything, and that's where I—that's I, my platform to uh, create these these wall systems. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, where'd you go to school? Fanshawe, okay. taking an unrelated program, which gave me the essential tools to use this software that I'm using now. So that's why I'm here. Awesome. Okay. Um, what kind of career do you want? Um. Career I want, uh, I have. Uh, I wouldn't give it a specific name, but uh, generally I want to be in a field that I'm challenged on a regular basis and uh, constantly problem solving and uh, exercising my brain as much as possible. And like uh, I remember you telling me that you like you want to be part of a team that you respect. Yeah, yeah, and, and another point about that is I uh, I want a lot of solo time to work too, uh, as well as group group work and. Uh, Working with clients and uh, other professionals as well. All right, awesome, awesome. Um, okay, uh, how do you uh, how do you feel about your health? Relatively good. Health is, uh, I mean, uh, could be better, but generally, I uh, I get enough to eat every day, and I get a good general amount of exercise throughout the week, and my uh, extracurricular habits could be a lot worse. Cool. Okay, good, good. Um, how do you eat? How do I eat? You mean like, uh, you mean like uh, throughout my day, how do I eat? As in like, what do I eat? Well, look, I know one thing you were saying is that you uh, you skip breakfast sometimes. Okay, so my eating habits, I guess. Yeah, and like what kind of, what kind of food do you eat? Like do, do you eat a lot of junk food? Like do you eat good meals? Do you eat, like, I know you cook, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I generally eat pretty well. In the morning, I'll, uh, I'll grab something to eat. I grab something to take with me on my way to work, and I'll eat it in the car. I'll usually have a, an apple, an orange, and a granola bar before lunch. If I don't finish that, I'll eat it throughout the day. Like I have extra food around, and uh, yeah, like when I'm hungry, I eat. Type cool of thing. Okay, okay, so so pretty good. Um, yeah, I like to eat healthy, and I grew up eating really healthy, and uh, it's it's really easy for me. Shout out to mom and dad for cooking good good stuff. Yeah. Um, what kind of exercise do you do right now? Exercise? Let's see, I uh, I get to the gym a couple of times a week. i um, really focusing on my athleticism right now, so I'm also working on my focus and my concentration, as well as my balance, to get better at, uh, at the sports I'm currently playing. Yeah, like what kind, of, what kind of sport are you playing consistently right now? Competitively, just squash at this point. Cool. But uh, recreationally, I'll play basketball, I'll play badminton, volleyball, soccer. Nice, nice. All right. Um, so, like, what's a typical day for you after you get home from work? Typically, get home, turn on my laptop, charge my phone, start dinner, you know, um, clean up a little bit. Lately, I've been a more of a low sensory diet, so I've been avoiding things like, like Facebook and... Um, I'm reading a lot more, trying to trying to slow my pace a bit, I guess. All right, sweet, sweet. What's like a what's a bad day for like you, you know you've just finished work? What's a yeah like a waste a, of a day type of thing? Yeah, I mean, exactly. Uh, I find myself just uh, online researching a lot of random topics that I find interesting, but generally they have no uh, no productive value in my life at all right now. Just like reading Reddit or yeah, or I'll be watching streams or uh, watching YouTube videos about stuff that's really not that essential, but just interesting. Right, right. Okay, well, what is the day you are proud of? The I'm proud of, I'll get some exercise in, I'll uh, work that day, 
it would have been uh, a good day at work. Nothing too monotonous that day. I'd get home, you know, see what's up with my friends. I'd go out, maybe for wings or something with the boys. Um, you know, get a bit of reading in. Give me a, give me some time to like slow slow my roll a bit, and then uh, get to bed on time. If I can get all those done, that's a relatively productive day. All right. uh, like uh, just quickly, like how how would you describe your sleep schedule? I know it's something you've been talking about. We're going to address it in the show. My sleep schedule, um, I don't know. Constantly trying to improve on it. It's really tough to go to bed early. I find mm -hmm. I just am um, very restless, even when I'm tired. Like I could be dead tired after a night of squash, and then I come home. Still tired, but I'd, I'd want to stay up. I'd want to talk to people. I'd want to go on the internet, you know. Cool, cool. Okay. Um, and uh, how would you describe your social circle? Uh, my social circle is really important to me. It's uh, my friends have lately, especially, have, they've been keeping me in check and uh, helping me see things that uh, I'm a bit blinded to, I'm a bit biased to. So, uh, like, I do rely on my friends to, uh, to uh, have my back for when I'm a little blinded because of uh, either something is just really good and uh, I'm just uh, kind of diving into it too much, they can kind of have my back or they have been having my back. Right on, right on. Okay, and oh, that's, a, that's something I'm going to bring up. Uh, so I, I actually came up with this, but um, like as soon as I was thinking like, oh, you know what, it'd be cool to do like a blog or, you know, like a consistent podcast on like self-improvement and stuff, I knew it was like, man, like I need to get my boy Jamel in on this because like, you know, we're always hanging out. I, I know like we're both not perfect, so uh, that's, that's why we're doing this together. Hmm. And um, anyways, uh, last question. How could, you, uh, how could you work harder? What are a few things you want to improve? How could I work harder? I guess... Uh being willing to be, do a bit more self-sacrifice, like doing things I don't want to do. Like uh, I find a lot of the things I don't want to do are the things that are most beneficial. So like I don't want to go to the gym right after work. You know, I'm tired. I'd rather just go home and sit down. You know, but I gotta keep. Uh, I feel like keeping busy and staying productive makes me feel better at the end of the night, even though momentarily it's. Uh, it'd be nice to just chill the hell out and just not do anything. True. Like, uh, I remember like earlier we were talking and you were saying like I, I kind of want to go see my parents more often right and I, I'm sure like our viewers can relate it can be tough like you know going to see your dad or your mom and you're just like you know all I want to do is sit down and play games you know well yeah I mean it's very low sensory at my parents house like watching TV like that's really all we'll do when we go over there is just talk and watch TV they don't really want to go out they don't really do much they don't really have much going on exciting wise I mean, relative to this 20-year-old kid, right, who who's all about high sensory and wanting to do lots of stuff all the time and constantly being occupied, they're uh, a lot more low pace, which is kind of boring. A lot of reason why I don't want to go there. All right, cool. So, um, so that's Jamel. Uh, ladies, he is single. We'll post the numbers later on. But uh, yeah. All right, all man. You wanna you wanna do my interview? Yeah, yeah. Can I can I get this? All right. All right, so the infamous Pavel. Okay, so where do you work, Pav? So uh, I work at an engineering company that makes like a uh, vacuum technology, and uh, all, all the stuff we sell goes to like you know like research institutions or like um, if like a big company buys it, it's for their like research division. Okay, where did you go to school? Uh, Fanshawe, it's a local community college, and um, for uh, electrical engineering. And what type of career do you want? So uh, this is a little abstract. I mean, like I've, I've always wanted to be a writer, but um, I, uh, uh, I guess this is kind of this is part of the career I want. You know, something that I can create, like a business that I own, and um, as long as it's something that I love doing. Uh, the money, I mean, you need money to eat and like you know live and pay rent and whatever. But um, yeah, as long as uh, as long as I'm doing something that I love. And it's my own creation. I think I'll be really happy. Nice. And how do you feel about your health? Uh, pretty good. I uh, I exercise like two, three times a week. Um, I can be a little inconsistent. Like just for an example, I went on a business trip last week. We stayed in a hotel with an awesome workout room, but I was like, I was just like, screw it. I'm not going to work out this week. I'm away on business. Um, I drink too much, uh, and I don't mean like in a party sense. When I go out and party, I might have a few too many, but for the most part, I'm okay. I. Uh, I'll have like two drinks a day, fairly consistently before I go to bed. That's something I want to kind of work on. 
Uh, I drink a lot of coffee at work. I want to drink less coffee. Um, I want to have better posture. Like me and Jamal both work in front of a computer all day, so a lot of slouch it. Like even right now, I see myself and I can't like, yeah, I you know. know. So uh, yeah, better posture. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, how are your eating habits? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, kind of, kind of like what you said. My uh, my parents always, you know, did the home cooking, so I had I had pretty good meals. Um, I mean, like even you and me, we go out for lunch like once or twice a week, and usually when I get something, there's lots of vegetables. It's uh, it's not something I'm like, oh, I shouldn't be eating this. It's it's usually pretty good. I do uh, like chips are my junk food. I love chips, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, how how are your sleep habits lately? Yeah, yeah. This is something I really want to work on with this uh, with this whole project. I uh, I've always had a lot of trouble sleeping, and I've been to the doctor for a few times. Uh, I've never taken like sleeping pills or anything, but um. I, I guess the biggest problem with my sleeping is me. I don't go to bed at the same time every day. I don't wake up at the same time every day. So um, it's it really is my fault, and I kind of want to get way more consistent at that. I don't want to drink, you know, booze before I go to bed. I want to, I want to, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely want to improve on that. Okay. And how could you be working harder to improve these sleeping habits and general general self improvement? Um, we, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get more on this in the show. Like, we're gonna try to bring you like cool research topics, and it's not just gonna be like stuff we've heard. We'll like we'll link you with, like good information. But um, uh, going to bed at the same time every day is huge. Waking up at the same time every day is huge. Uh, not being on like anything digital. So like, I I, I usually watch a TV show or like maybe like a history documentary. <coughs> Like, you know, I'll watch something before I go to bed on my computer, and I know it's not good to be looking at, like, a really bright screen before you go to bed. Uh, I mean, I can definitely drink less coffee, and I think that'll happen once I start sleeping better, you know? Um, obviously, being more consistent with my workouts. Uh, a lot of my workouts repeat. Like, I've been doing the same exercises over and over. And I've seen gains. Like, I, I'm, I'm a pretty big guy, but um, I, I could definitely be... I could be working just as hard, but working smarter. Okay. Okay, so um, what type, what type of exercises are you doing right now? So kind of like your typical, you know, three day split at the gym, like one day for like you know your um, your triceps and your back, or like your uh, your biceps and uh, you know shoulders, uh, chest and uh, chest and legs. I'm pretty good at not skipping leg day or anything like that. I'll always get like a decent cardio workout mm -hmm. every week as well. And you mentioned you you walk a lot as well. Yeah, yeah. I uh, like in Canada especially. Like we're we're out of London, Ontario, and so um, it's pretty fucking cold lately and um i find if i go for a walk like every other day or usually on days when i don't exercise then you get you better used to the cold and it's kind of like a good way to get some fresh air before you go to bed what's a typical day after work for you uh <laughs> this is gonna sound a lot like yours man just like a like you know turn on my laptop plug in my phone uh eat dinner i, I almost always like go on reddit and just like you know see like what their latest posts are like the latest jokes and shit um you know, probably call you up or, you know, someone else and just see if they want to chill. Uh, yeah, a typical day doesn't mean, like, I won't go to the gym, but, yeah, something like that. Okay. What about a day that you're not proud of? All right, so, um, you know, get home, really tired, I'm not going to the gym, start browsing the internet, you know, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, it's kind of like what you said, you know, like, I will end up on some, like, really intelligent things, like some really cool reading, but it's, it's not, like, something I do every day, so it'll kind of just be, like, tidbits. Um, like I said, I do drink before I go to bed almost every day. That's uh, that's something I'm not proud of. Um, yeah, basically just waste my day on my computer, like you know, games and shit like that. All right. What about the day you are proud of? All right. So uh, come home, eat dinner, uh, maybe like take a few minutes to answer emails or like say hi to my friends if they've sent me a message. Then go to the gym. Um, come back home. You know, shower, get ready for bed. Even though I've got like a couple hours of chilling, so like my teeth will be brushed and whatnot, and then I'll. Uh, I mean, even days that I'm proud of, I'll play games, I'll, uh, I'll read, like, a book that I have, and then uh, get to bed on time. All right. How would you describe your financials, your financial uh, habits and your finances in general? Uh, okay, okay, so uh, we're actually starting this, like, while I'm, um, most of my, like, finances right now are going towards a house, and uh, it looks like it's going to be mine by the end of the month. I'm not getting too ahead of myself, but obviously my finances are going to change a bit. I'm pretty good, though. I, uh, I don't splurge on, like, you know... I don't spend like crazy amounts of money on stuff. If uh, if like my friends and me want to go out, I'm not like that guy. It's like no, let's not go there. You know, it's too expensive. I uh, but yeah, if if I need something, I buy it, and uh, I think I'm pretty good at putting money. Okay. What um, can you comment on your social circle? Yeah. Okay. So this is something I'm pretty proud of. Uh, about a uh, actually when I got my first job out of college, I uh, almost instantly disconnected my phone when I moved to another city. And, um, like, I mean, I still kept in touch with you and, like, a bunch of other people that I'm really tight with, but, um, 
a lot of the people that I didn't really know too well or kind of just like acquaintances, you know, they, they faded away. Like, you know, if you don't keep in touch with them, they disappear. And for me, I was really happy about that. So I can honestly say that now, my group of friends, like I cherish them, I think they're awesome. Um, I respect everyone that I hang out with and uh, a lot of their qualities, I kind of try to, you know, replicate myself. Good to know. All right, that's the end of your interview. So uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's your hosts. So I guess I'm just gonna try to give you like, <laughs> I'm just gonna try to give you some like, um, quickly like what we're gonna do with this, uh, what we're gonna do with this program. So as soon as we stop recording this, me and Jamel, we're gonna we're gonna sit down and write out our schedule for next week, and um, we kind of want to have like a Kenny versus Spenny vibe for this. So like let's say um, at the end of the week, you know, we're looking at, at everything, and I'm like, man, I I skipped a lot of my um, my gym days. I didn't really eat too well. I ate a lot of junk food. Uh, you know, whoever is doing better. The other person has to submit to a humiliation. Now we're not going to be like eating like disgusting shit like they do on Kenny versus Spenny, but um, like uh, we've got a few ideas in mind, and so uh, you know, we'll we'll be filming them every week. Uh, you know, funny shit that you don't want to do. Yeah, like you mentioned a couple to me that are actually pretty funny. Um, um, like if we one of us doesn't follow through with something that we've dedicated ourselves to and we've uh, promised ourselves and whoever's watching, um, if we don't follow through with those those promises, we'll have to do something like. Like, uh, what were you saying? You're like dive down uh, yeah. a, a hill, uh, a hill without a shirt on, type of thing in the snow. Ooh, ooh okay, that's that's intense. We we might do that, but like I was thinking, like a human toboggan, you know, just like put yeah. on a big garbage bag, so there's no friction. You can just slide down a hill. It's gonna hurt your ass like mad. Yeah. Um, another one I was thinking was like the, everything's covered in snow right now, so like baseball, but with snowballs, and you'll have to be shirtless. So every time you smack one of these, it'll look awesome, but you're gonna get pelted with like snow and ice. Mm -hmm. So stuff like that, we're uh, we're gonna come up with some cool ideas. Obviously, uh, any suggestions you guys have, we want to hear. Yes, and I'm I'm sure you guys can come up with them because I'm sure, because uh, uh, I mean, like you guys can get as mean as you want to in these <laughs> things, and that's the whole point of this. So yeah, we're always open to that. And um, like the other thing we want to do with this show is we're gonna we're gonna recap every week. So you know, like how our weeks went. You know, like all those things we kind of just discussed. Those are our goals. We're gonna try to uh, we're gonna try to put some more solid metrics to them over the week. But um, also, man, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, a lot of the stuff that we're like gonna be doing here and we wanna improve on, we need to know more about. Like, um, uh, I know a little bit about sleeping, but um, something I've been trying to do lately is uh, cold showers. I've read a lot, of, a lot of really good benefits from cold showers, but I'm not super knowledgeable about that. And that's something we're gonna be doing for you guys. We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be exploring these cool topics. Once again, anything you guys wanna hear. And uh, we're gonna be linking like, you know, really good information. That's something we really wanna touch on. We're not gonna like, I mean, if it's something general, maybe we'll link a Wikipedia article to it, but if we want to, like, really right. drive a point home, it's not going to be like, hey, read this Wikipedia post. It'll be like, no, we, we went and we found this university that did this study, you know, like, really yeah. reliable media We're going to keep it credible. We're going to keep our sources um, consistent. And uh, uh, what's the learning process for both of us? I mean, we are uh, we aren't professionals on any of these topics, but... Uh, we're just alpha as fuck, and we want to get more alpha with you guys watching and listening. So yeah, and we're trying to help whoever's watching as as well as help each other and keep each other motivated. So that's that's kind of what we're doing together. And yeah, that's so, the goal. So every week, expect a expect a new podcast, expect a humiliation video, and um, we're gonna we're gonna each try to cover a topic that means a lot to us and we think is important to know about, and we'll uh, we'll give you like a quick like. This is going to be like a 3,000 word report. It's going to be like a few points that we want you to know about. And then we'll link you the information where we found it and why we think that's true. Okay. Obviously, you guys got to make your own decisions. All right. That's basically it, man. That's uh, basically it, yeah. Anything you want to add? No, no. I guess we will uh, We'll see you guys in the next podcast and keep in touch. We'll be around. All right, guys. Thanks for listening.